As you can tell from some of my previous videos, I love barbecuing. Out of everywhere in Disney World, the best barbecue sauces are Flame Tree's House Sauce and Boma's Coca-Cola Barbecue Sauce. Let's recreate them at home. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Remy's Apprentice. First things are first, you can't have barbecue sauce by itself, unless you're a weirdo. And even though one of these sauces call for Coca-Cola, I'd advise not to drinking it. But of course, this is a free country, I think. So go for it if you want. At this point, I think everything causes some sort of disease. So these are our country-style ribs that we're marinating for four hours in our bourbon marinade from my steak episode. Let's put these on the smoker for two hours at 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Now for our sauce, you're gonna want four ounces Coca-Cola, three ounces ketchup, two ounces A1 sauce, one and a half ounces Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon black pepper, one fourth teaspoon salt, half teaspoon garlic powder. And there you go, I just made Coca-Cola more diverse in flavor. You can't have Coke without Jack. Add all ingredients to a sauce pot and bring to a simmer for 10 to 12 minutes. Add to a bowl and allow to cool at room temperature before placing in a refrigerator or slapping on your meat. Oh yeah, and don't be a dummy and do this. And now it's time for our flame tree signature sauce. Four ounces ketchup, four ounces brown sugar, three ounces water, three ounces rice wine vinegar, two ounces molasses, half teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon cumin, one tablespoon paprika, one tablespoon chili powder, one teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon ground clove, one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. And there you go, my favorite barbecue sauce recipe. You're gonna wanna start by adding all of your wet ingredients to a pot, bringing it to a simmer before adding all of your dry ingredients. After it simmers for 8 to 10 minutes, strain into a bowl. You should have a barbecue sauce that looks as smooth as this. I did forget that our Coca-Cola barbecue sauce does call for jalapeno, but I like a more smoky flavor. So my buddy Chad picked some fresh Tabascos that we will remove the seeds from and cook briefly 5 to 7 minutes at a simmer before straining and serving. When your two hours are complete at 225 degrees Fahrenheit, wrap ribs in foil or butcher paper. Place back on the smoker and bring to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 minutes or until internal temperature is met. Remove from smoker and allow to sit for 45 minutes in foil at room temperature. If you want a fall apart rib that can be used for pulled pork, wrap after adding three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and smoke for an additional two and a half hours, then allowing to rest at room temperature in foil for 45 minutes. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get these things dressed up. And I have to take a minute to brag about that smoke ring. And there you have it, two amazing barbecue sauces that come from the most magical place on earth. Keep in mind that the flame tree sauce will be a little bit thicker and have a stronger flavor. The clove brings it out. The flavor of the Coca-Cola sauce has a sweeter taste with a bite, but not too spicy. All right, guys, I'm going to finish my sandwich. Please leave me some feedback in the comments section below. Let me know how your sauce turned out. And until next time, cheers.